Hello anyone, yeah, hello anyone who may be watching now or later, Helene here along with... Lucky here! Along with uh, Tomb Sandwiches! 
And welcome to Dishonored. I doubt I have I doubt I'll have to introduce much of this game because yeah, when it was launched, it was just it was beloved by pretty much everyone. But for the people who might not have ever heard of this, this uh, this is a first person uh, sort of Stealth is advised since, well, you can you can fight, but you can still die quite easily, especially early on. And uh, yeah, this game was made by Arcane Studios, the same people behind Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And yes, we will get to that game eventually. And just <laughs> this game is just a ton of fun. I remember the trailers, and I was not impressed. I was like, oh, they, it's just a 15th century assassin, all right. Then a few years later, I saw people mention it and realized, wait, this is not the game I got the impression of during the early trailers. But I remember the trailers did not mention a single supernatural thing about it, or it being steampunk. Okay, going to make a small change here in the. I actually, for, um, I think I've not checked. Uh, no, not Check plus what? four, minus four. Stupid thing. Oh, uh, I stopped your volume a tiny bit uh, after you said something. But, uh, oh, oh. okay, no, that, that that's. Uh, you seem to spike the audio for a moment, but, but that was because I, yeah, for some reason OBS just refuses to work with the audio sometimes when you want to lessen a number instead of just throw it just straight to zero and then when whatever you put in it, they'll put it uh, like a 10 or 20 decibels extra or something. So, Weird. yeah. When, so, yeah uh, sorry, if, <laughs> sorry if that spiked anyone's headset. Uh. We forget. Um, screenshot, please. I thought it's. Uh, I thought I said that, but no. I. What I'm. What I'm trying to do now, more recently, is to set up, to send out some of the, uh, yeah, messages that I am starting to stream in some places where I'm armed, like a uh, gamerized, which is a sort of Twitter, for gamers, and a few servers on Discord. And then I start up the game to let the intro and just the music build up on its own so it isn't just instantly switching over to a complete fanfare at maximum volume. And then during the intro, I, tr I, I try to remember to share it to Drakir so I don't interrupt the music. Though, yeah, I still interrupted it this time. But enough talk, I'd say let's go to new game. There is continue because I have played through this game completely before. So I will know a decent amount. Let's see, casual, stealth and combat. A part of me wants to go for hard, since I have played through this game, but it has also been quite a while since I've played through this game. So I will have forgotten quite a lot. So let's start on normal instead. Let's see. Five minutes later, he lies in a corner crying like a baby. Ooh, the difficulty being too hard. Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spy Master was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. 
Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plan. <laughs> the uh, AIs. You should go see the Empress. Do you need a hand, dude? Okay, now I can believe it's a Bethesda game. Uh, yeah. And yes, so I didn't know it was time. Bethesda was yes, yes. part of this game. Pressure was too low. All these new machines are touchy. Just don't do anything crazy. Sokolov's changed everything again, and we don't know what the hydraulics can do now. We've got him here today doing a portrait. If there's a time to try something, it's now. Yeah. This world is a bit different. It's it's definitely not set in the normal world. Hello, sir. Completely fictional. Yep. Corvo, you're back. Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait. Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Later, will you give me more climbing lessons? Someday I'm going to climb up to the rooftop. Okay, yeah, pause and tell me. Is the game using Bethesda's uh, program of the order own? I think they are. You, it, I think it uses their own engine, but as you could see, that the let's see if you're still the good models are a bit. I'll hide my eyes and uh, count, and at the end of the countdown, a bit I'll odd. try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Yeah, you cannot why I ask for it. It reminds me a bit of Bethesda's newer games, or at least, well. Uh, like what some of the Fallout, the recent Fallout games, a bit, but they are slightly coming better. It, but it, it at least it looks better than Oblivion. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah, that is Emily, the princess, so to speak. Yeah, well, she is the princess. And let's try and keep an eye on her. She's over there. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> a bit of character work including into the tutorial. Okay. So he's looking this way. How old is this game now? I think it came out... I think it came out in the zeros. Wait, what? I'd have to double check. Uh... I, I thought it was at least 2010s. She's not moving away. Okay, it might be that things are a bit glitchy. Could you really think you could hide there? Or was I supposed to get over there or something? Okay, one more time. Okay, and find a better hiding place this time. I think she was supposed to come look for us. And yeah, that is the detection system. Or at least how it is shown. And let's do this time. Let's go up here then. Two, three, four, and it'll also give me a bit of time eight, to look up the game. Let's see. This honored. Oh, 2016. Oh, 
Wait, no, okay, that... no, 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 2012. So I, I think. A... All right, that that makes more sense. For I recall hearing about this when I was uh, around in dorm school, at least. If this comes came out during the zeros, it would make it older than Oblivion. Yeah. I think the goal is to sneak up on her or something. So let's see about that. Or, hmm. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Yeah, not a perfect game. Oh, leaning around corn. Oh. So they wa they wanted us to hide here. <laughs> okay, I was being a bit too advanced for the game. It, it apparently. I, I have to say, this. for a game 2012, it looks actually damn good, especially the clothes and environment. The and the faces are also right. It's nothing compared to modern stuff, of course, but personally, I th I think it has a bit of a grimy, slimy feel to it, but that rather fits with this world, actually. Yeah. I saw the, uh, the way they made the, the, all the adults' face and it felt Hi. like it Hi, has like slight... Now we should go see Mother. A slight cartoony feel to it, but a bit more fit in the um, setting. Yeah, a, a slight... Uh, a slight cell shaded effect, you could say. Not like completely, <laughs> and yeah, these are obviously low-quality... <laughs> Textures here. Well, you were gone, Mother yeah, yeah, but you can go up to them and uh, face plant them. You can probably notice it. Detector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. From wherever you've been. They sent him all around the aisles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. Okay, this game also counts as an immersive sim game. And yeah, you can see that, that bottle over there. If we can w walk up and we could just stay and take it and then he would remove it out of the painting here. Actually, let's do that. What are you yep. doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider, though in truth he is always close to this stuff. <laughs> yeah, Anton Sokolov. We will see these characters later as well. You saw my improvements to the waterlock. Wait, Anton Sokolov. Why the hell do he, he appears to make me think of Rasputin? She'll see you at once. Uh, good possible fits. Go ahead. It's been good traveling with the you. The other ones look very British to me. <coughs> yeah, that is the general feel of this because even though this isn't set in like England or asserts, and well, you can take a look over there, uh, that it's a big Ben XP if I ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. I'm glad you're here. And yeah, things are. Uh, not great. So. Yeah, think about it. The adult it's looks better than the child. Criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're they're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo, two days early, full of surprises, as usual. Admission is very good. Sounds yeah. like Oblivion and, and a Fallout them. and all, trying to look hyper-realistic. This one went slightly that, but a bit cartoonish, like yeah, the like artwork. Like I said, it, like a, t a touch of cell shading. Because yeah, personally, and... I'd say the closer people try to get to hyper-realistic graphics, the closer they get actually get to uh, the Uncanny Valley, which is where uh, it looks real-ish, but it's just that touch of 
that uh, it instead looks creepy as all hell. Yeah, and I don't know if Oblivion would count as yes. Everyone said Oblivion just look, you looked awesome, and I look at it and he said, horrible. <laughs> this, at least what they don't have made it the category special. What news have you brought? Oh. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! And here we go. Simple attack, left, right, right, left, yeah. left and right attacks. And yeah, we, we we're starting off dual wielding. It's some, it's a block incoming, okay. And yeah. <laughs> Where? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Teleporting around and... Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Emily, protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do, won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Take him. Oh, come on. Yeah, we can obviously guess who is actually behind this, because he called the fucking guards away. Yeah. And yeah, you could see him looking around for his accomplices or something. Yeah, it's it's no big spoiler that he's the spy master is just the villain of this all. And yeah, that's where the title comes from as well, because he's dishonored us by framing us, I'd say. Yeah. So far I'm impressed by the game. The only character I feel like they may have need to do more work on is the Emily. Yeah, this is just the start of it all. Yeah, and this is this is something I like in games that they, especially when they have stuff in the in the loading screen for you to read, that they give you the option to yeah continue at your own pace instead of forcing you to speed read through it. Speaking Ooh. of, six months have passed since you were accused by the royal spy master of murdering the empress and conspiring to abduct her daughter, Emily, the royal heir. Now locked away in Cold Ridge Prison, the time of your execution draws near. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. 
This country needs strong leadership now. Someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. And, well, it's not much of a spoiler if they just go out and confess to you right away like, right, right like that. Better to self-assured. Yeah. <laughs> it's always in the bread, isn't it? That's what's bread? Corvo, we, uh, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. You're in good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. Because there's never a dictator without resistance. Yep, and I took a from something here. Hmm? I mistook the bread for a piece of ham. <laughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that guard was the one that they brought in the City Watch swords. Okay, and some big ass coins as well. Now, let's see. That's a damn saber! Yeah. It's on account of Corvo. The one who killed... Nope. Assassinations and non-lethal takedowns. With a sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing left head mouse button or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold thumb to some mouse button or middle mouse button to perform a non-lethal takedown. Using stealth and a non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers, some people react favorably, and the final outcome is not as dark. Basically, this is your morality system. Do you kill or do you knock out? And like it says, the more people you kill, the uh, the worse things will get. Which is a bit of a... giving away a bit too much right at the start, I'd say. Right. Social event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dog fights. Attention, the solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews, unless accompanied yeah. by an officer of the watch. Did you Escort hear Morris was dragged off by the overseers for some black magic nonsense? Oh, Pressing the button. Yeah, well, so much for stealth then. What the hell is going on? I pressed. I was pressing the button. Controls. Let's see. Block sheds less. Oh, thumb, not middle. I was. I'm. I'm. No. I'm too used to. Uh, yeah, thumb button too. Then. I'm too used to games using middle mouse button because I. I've only recently been getting mouse yes, or mice, computer mice with uh, thumb buttons. So, yeah. <laughs> I haven't, and I, I can't use our thing. And yeah, well, there's uh, there goes our chance for a pacifist playthrough. Oh, you plan to do that? Uh, not really, but I was going to go for as least amount as possible. Sokolov's health, sir. Wait, is there different endings in this game? Yep. Oh. Let's see. Whale or old tax. Good for the city, good for us all. New price. Uh, I can't. Half tank. Big. Barrel. Premium something. 
half barrel. So for oh for light yeah for lighting only, and normal barrel. Okay, and I don't know how much barrels of something typically cost, but these seem a bit pricey. Then again, the yeah the lower ones seem reasonable, I guess. Got no idea how the uh, <clears throat> economy in this world is going, but then again, with the city going to shit, it could just be that the place is getting a massive inflation as well. And yeah, we can find food all around the place to ha act as healing items as well. No I think... on the pond. The hound pits, Shudder versus Blackie, wage on the most vicious hounds in the city as they rend one another by John Fang. Come to the pub known for the best ales and the freshest blood ox stew. Okay. What oh, did say? One of the dogs may may be mistaken for a uh, day in a dawn. And this one. Uh, no, they're actually both. Yeah, both actually may be mistaken them for uh, a day in a dawn. And for those who don't, don't know what day in a dawn is, it's a prehistoric animal that's been nicknamed Hell Pig or Terminator Pig. And it's closer related to a hippo. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. We, we just dodged some people. Yep. And unbreakable door. Yeah. We can break through some doors. Wanna well, ask, is sword the only melee weapon we have? I don't really remember okay. much. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted Find the explosive, the get the key from the guard's belt. Okay. Yeah. okay, yeah, they found the bodies. Uh, I don't remember much of other possible weapons. Though I don't actually remember being able to switch through them or something. I, 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 think we mostly the have the, I think we mostly have the pistol and the blade. At the very least, mm. I think we will be able to get different ammo. Oh. You're heading this way. Can't stay here but yeah, we can pickpocket enemies as well. Well, in any good stealth game, you can pickpocket enemies. Or at the very least, steal stuff from their belt. Right, I see we... the gun is glowing. You, you hagfish. I train off the solitary... <laughs> <laughs> Down already. Okay, middle mouse is for selection. And yeah, since we've already been dishonored, no need to go for honor. <laughs> Just shoot them straight in the face. And I accidentally used a health uh, item there. Because I was trying to reload. <laughs> no, I think this thing is a single shot or something. And yeah, the reason it's glowing is because uh, technology also works a bit differently in this place. Okay. Let's see. Order shall prevail until order becomes tyranny. Let's see. Yeah, and. Uh, I'm a bit sad the Empress died, but she looked like a good Empress. Yeah, which is typically why they <laughs> those typically don't last that long. Attention. Let's try it to be a little bit stealthy, even though we lo already left a small pile of corpses behind. What have we here? Corvo's unconscious again. Though he's taken more punishment than in two men we brought in for interrogation. When he wakes, we'll start again. Having him sign the confession for her murder isn't critical, but it might be useful to us later. The assassination of an empress is not a trivial matter. Yeah, this is a bit different from uh, your typical audio player, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Duty officers report Corvo's inter uh, interrogation. Corvo Atano, formerly the Royal Protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of utter, uh, utmost importance. The, the Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves. 
follow their orders without hesitation and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hand, instead of getting the public execution the Lord Region wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Yeah, very pleasant people, huh? <laughs> tutorial. Journal tutorial. Let's see. J to access the tutorial. There you can review your mission objectives and choose which ones to track. Read mission clues and information about your gear and manage your supernatural powers. Spoiler much. <laughs> yeah, we'll get those later. Though it is entirely possible to play through this game without using those. But for ease of matter, I will be using at least some. The Trials of Aptitude. Excerpt from a book of the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously. I'm actually surprised I got that word right. In order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation, evaluation until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliff. During the elaborate ceremony, it is determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. Again, oh. a very nice place for vacationing, huh? <laughs> and again, it wouldn't be a stealth game without the ability to throw stuff. And here we have another one of those. A bit more eligible, I think. And yeah, clockwork explosives. Because it ain't fun if it ain't got a ticking clock on it. <laughs> there we go. Yes, someone unlocked the door for us. Let's see, we have one there, we have another there. Ackworth, you lazy slug. Did you patrol the yard? Sorry, not yet. I was gonna report that to the yes. Attention. Forget it. Tomorrow's Do execution your will Reports be restricted trouble to the both personnel us. assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. I thought they said first Hogwarts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta keep out of sight. This would, be the, this would be the first real time you deal with moving people. Let me Trilling. know if you want to gamble on the hounds again. Bug someone else. Okay. Where is he? He is just in front of us next to this pillar, I think. I oh, no stupid goddamn. Yeah, there he is. There might be some stuff in and around, but we mostly stream these games for story. So let's not go uh, sifting through every little bin. And, yeah, there's rats everywhere, and NPCs will actively uh, hunt them down if they find them. Or if they get in their way, at least. Okay, door control. Let's see. Can we? Yes, we can. Seen anything scary? <laughs> and that's also a nice little thing, though I forgot to do it there. If we just hold F, we can instantly go into carrying like this, which will help a lot with, uh, yeah, moving. I heard a sword getting drawn. Will help a lot with hiding bodies. So we can actually stay stealthy. Is he sleeping? Yep. Oh, bloody hell, what happened to his face? Attention. Tomorrow's execution. No, it's Will not our work at the very least. To the event and yes. Oh, there's someone here. I don't know if people react to doors being left open. So, let's keep doing the stealthy thing and cleaning up behind us. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. I think Corpo has got a quite a fine stream. I can see why he was the Lord Protector. Okay, straight through his throat. Yeah, Corvo is a very capable combatant. And uh, yeah, even further away oh, from any sort of non-violent place where... Okay, so I don't think we would have had much of a choice with these two here since we need a plan of some freaking bomb. Is, okay, that closes it back up. That'll at least slow down anyone else who would come running back because there's a freaking explosion. Yeah, uh, actually, when I think about it, are you very good at stealth game to, to begin with? Usually. You were saying? Oh, uh, there's guards up there. Oh yeah, it has been uh, quite a while since I have played this game, and yeah, running doesn't really do much, di make much difference. Because this is normal walking, this is running. Like, it's noticeable, but it's not like you get launched forwards or so. Let's see. Dunwell Sewers. Fugitive. You have escaped Coltridge prison, prison with the help of hidden allies. If you can reach the Renhaven River, they promise to aid you in your next move. So, let's try and be a bit more uh, stealthy this time. Yeah, and before I forget it, since I misheard them say what was late earlier. Don't care about a few guards. And this, oh, look at this stuff. Somebody's been down here. Bottle Street Gang, maybe. Beanie will love this. <laughs> yeah. But also, in part, not. Yep. NPC dialogue and reactions to you will change depending on how many people you kill and such. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard in a whirlwind. So, the less the better. Yeah. So yeah, you need to up your game. Let's see. Note from a friend. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plans, our plan worked, and you've broken free from cold rates. One of our contacts has hidden weapon for you somewhere deeper in the sewer. Grab the gear and find Samuel and Samuel, where these tunnels dump into the river. He will bring you to us. A friend who will meet you soon. That would have been awkward if some guard found that first. <laughs> first. Yeah. And now, before I forget, a comment about Hogwarts I only recently started to think over the years. And that's... Who the heck would name the school of Castle Hogwarts? And that is why swarms of rats are a problem in this world. Okay, so that's what I mean with rat plague. And, well, the rats themselves are a plague, but they also carry a plague. So, yeah, um, it's double up. And, yeah, they will just keep eating until there is nothing left. So, uh, uh, so yeah. I think so, so they'll sprout off the ground and they... Are they basically piranhas? Basically, with fur and, uh, well, not completely amphibious, but land-dwelling. Luckily, okay, there's a we go, we go for, between us. We're going for a terrible school name of uh, Warts from a Hog to Piranha Rats. Quite a bit of disinfecting oh, fluid adds here. Like one, two, three, four. But uh, yeah, when there was a plague around, people would want to uh, keep the air as clean as possible. Especially because since in the uh, relevant equivalent to the time that this game takes, this world takes place in, people would still be believing in the miasma theory. Which was basically that any sickness 
came from bad air instead of actual bacteria and viruses and such. Okay. You cannot kill the rat plague. Rats are eating our babies. No one will keep us from death. You cannot. Okay. That's all quickly clean painted with others. Oh. And yeah, those rats will go after us as well, though luckily they prefer non moving prey. Though it will not keep them busy forever. Let's see. Get out. Corvo is agile enough to climb out of the water at any point. Oh. oh. I'll just leave those be. They died. Okay, that's dramatically sad. Yeah. Got something here. Wait, we're gonna get the Helianzi's napkin. So can dry his tears. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I can stick up a corpse because they're already uh, stiff enough. Okay. Oh, come on. Show some respect. I do think there are generally st uh, things hidden around in places. This is this game is also at least partially open world, and those are the same ads as before. Like there are hub areas, and then there are mission areas, which are not linear mostly. Oop. Ah, more rats. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just jump them down there like a rat. And a, yeah, very, um... What would be even the words? Yeah, the guards just, a lot of them just do not care. Luckily for us, though, it'll distract the rats from nibbling on our ass instead. Still, let's not hang around. I hope it's a bit scathing to me in this game for a reason now. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Rats cure. Yeah, when, when there's literally a plague of rats going around, uh, I would not trust rat meat in any kind. Of any kind. That's a very obvious one. What was that? I should have looked around more for what that was connected to first. Why did that jump scare me? I not reading that. Well, I guess I expected it to not blow up when you disarmed it. Now, it wasn't so much disarming as triggering it intentionally. Though you... you yeah. I'm guessing whatever it was connected to was too close for us to dodge or to be out of the blast radius of. What have we here? Project? Oh. Oh, it was tied to this thing. Ow. Just, I didn't see a line going around here. Incendiary bolt. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, okay, I was just looking through your pockets, not giving you a shove. Let's see. The Lord Protector. 
Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before that title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and the True Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you, take these weapons crafted for you out of the finest materials in the Isles, and meet with our man, Samuel, who <clears throat> Samuel near where these tunnels spill into Ren Haven River. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. And now we get an actual good weapon. Basically, what? this <laughs> the switchblade version of a sword. And we also get this handy little crossbow. And yeah, we have we already got a bit of a look at it. We have the our ammo selection here. We can even quick select them. One, two, three. So it does take a moment to swap between the ammos. I think this one is poison. This one seems to be... I have no clue. <laughs> and yeah, then we just have bullets and bolts. Hemlock hmm. Essence. Okay. Uh, uh, we, there's a, quite a bunch of stuff that we can loot, but it automatically gets converted into coin for us. Since, well, there's not really a selling system, I think. There is a shop that we can access, or shops. Multiple. Okay, what is this one tied to? You can't tuck underneath it. Oh, C to slide while sprinting. Yeah, see the other launcher or the side of the... Ah, there it is. I saw it earlier, that hint was said launcher. Let's see. Jelly share. Jelly, in case you're too daft to remember, look up uh, look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Okay. And uh, I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes in no, there there are just treasures hidden around the place as well. And that basically gave the hints of how to open this thing. It's a whiskey. Yeah, we'll have to find something related to whiskey nearby then. Okay, same as before, a single bolt. Uh, what behind you again? I think I saw a whiskey near the barrel. Uh, oh, yes, not. Hmm. I guess I mistook the hunter for whiskey. Oh. Let's, let's see, no. Might be some advertisement or something. Uh, or, oh, hello? Oh, well, that's very. Whiskey 451. Four, five, and one. And there we go. <laughs> we get shot by the door. Elixir and a jewel box worth 50 coin. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can't take up the range that was on the shell. Do you know who hmm? we're hunting here? I'll try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, gotta love your colleagues, huh? <laughs> We'll get to see what a weeper is in a bit. Let's see, anything hidden under here? I thought something in the wall is hidden. I feel you're doing something bad. And that is? If you, look, if you look up at the wall you were at. No trespassing. Exactly. Okay. I also like the... When you're sneaking, for one, you get that little symbol in the lower left corner. Hmm? Just slip into the water, don't come out. And that's Corvo switches to his, his hold on the blade as well as a visual, both, both as a visual uh, marker that you're in stealth or in stealth mode. Drop assassination tutorial. Drop on an enemy from above and press left just before landing on him to perform a drop assassination. You won't take any damage from the fall. 
which is also a way how you can prevent fall damage, of course. And I've seen some people take that, do some big extremes with this, like they jump off the highest point of the map or something, and they land on someone to oh, not get themselves killed. And okay. Well, it is a sewer, so he's sort of cutting out, not the middleman. Oh, come on, wash your hands! With what, sewer water? Oh, you're taking it. Well, he's gonna wash his hands with fire! Do you're he is lost. Yeah. And we're going to try and wash our hands of blood as much as possible, so I'm just going to wait for him to turn. There we go. And immediately up over the shoulder. For a moment, I thought you were to push him into the sewer water. Okay, he has a friend somewhere around here, though. Or had. So and a grill? I think... I, I think friend might even be a very strong word in this case. <laughs> oh, there's two. They're Let's actively see. eating rats. Yep, they are. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Yeah, like I said, I wouldn't... I normally would never touch rat meat of any sort, and especially if there is a plague going around. Though, in a way, rats have a bad undeserved reputation because it wasn't actually the rats themselves that were bring with the Black Plague and such. It wasn't actually the rats themselves that spread the disease. It was the fleas on their back. So, yeah, the accomplice maybe. Yeah, at the beginning, the food was the cat. So the way, when the plane came out, it killed all the cats. This was probably even a dumber idea. Yeah, which <laughs> meant there were even more rats to go around. And yeah, just... Let's just say that the, the Middle Ages were full of bad ideas. Yeah, some good, but also many bad. Yeah, we'll just have to be very glad that we were not born in that time. Yeah. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several I've never touched hand food even from the. By his hand. From a, a trash bin. And, uh, yeah. Bodies are just getting dumped everywhere. Corvo, over here. Quickly, I'm a f I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I could still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. There's a lot of personality on that face. <laughs> and yeah, after each mission, we'll get a stat sheet like this. Let's see 11 hostiles killed, zero civilians killed, zero alarms, dead or unconscious bodies found, or dead, found by the enemy. And overall chaos and the current total, which is at the moment high. We do not want it to be high because then we get the bad ending. And we found only about half of all the coin that was found in the level. Okay. And special actions, open jelly safe. This is the Hound Pits pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of 
course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the Watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Yep, this will be our base of operations. The Hound Pit Pub. Let's see, mission clues. Let's see, Samuel the Boatman has smuggled you across the river from Coldridge Prison. He works for an underground movement opposing the illegal reign of the Lord Regent and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Okay, I'd forgotten a lot about this game. So I didn't know you act. It actually kept track of clues of such like this. Hmm. And yeah, hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists in their circle to learn what they've got in mind. Okay. So it tells me during these six months, things got worse. Very, very much so. Because uh, yeah, when you have a despot, in charge who obviously does not care about the people who are sick from the plague like that little interaction with the empress showed uh, yeah you can expect things to go from bad to even worse i expect they're hard at work in there best join them they'll help you get whoever really killed the empress so it's starting at last that we found our man. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Okay, I got a bit too close there because you can often eavesdrop on the conversations us, as they're going around. Nothing hmm? against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the crown. And, well, he's a certified badass. And he looks like a badass. And his companion looked you like Piero H.P. Yet? Lawcraft. He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. Okay, let's just step away before he <laughs> blabs our ear off. Uh, yeah, here we'll have our... our cue, so to speak. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a Terrible mess. And yeah, another very obvious sign that things are different here. The... What? Yep, instead of oil and such, it's whale oil. Hello, it's still whale oil. Whale oil refilling station. Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regards to supplies of whale oil. 
The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic attractor should take the tank and lock it in the correct configuration. Use the lever will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is complete, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the full tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. Yeah. We can use these things as weapons if wanted. But uh, let's not do that in our own base. <laughs> Hold on, let's take a look at this. Perfect. Now plug it in. Hmm? Yeah, I'm but not going to drop it. Look, this is something off. Yeah, it's glowing. Yeah, th these are not normal whales. Yep. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Uh, yeah, this is one of the places where we'll be using our cash. Let's see, we can get sleep bolts, not poison bolts, sleep bolts, normal pistols. And yeah, that blue glow, that's from the whale oil as well. Spring um, razor, which is a, I'm, well, it's a mine. I'm slightly disturbed. And a rewire tool allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage, consumed on usage. Let's, let's get one of these. Let's see. Disable security devices or make them work in your favor by using a rewire tool to the electric uh, circuitry panel for the security device you want to hack. This consumes the rewire tool. Rewired walls of light, arc pylons, and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you, while rewired alarms will be fully disabled. We'll, we'll try to use these mostly on uh, alarms, of course, and uh, in case you're curious, that on the right is a wall of light. Tesla uh, would be proud. And here we are. Upgrades, crossbow accuracy, range, reload, combat sleep darts. Okay. So we can use them in combat as well because, yeah, when people are fighting for their lives, uh, they're going to be a bit more alert. Sword crossing. Oh, yeah. Makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against the enemy. We, if we swing at the right time, we can walk cross blades with an enemy and then try to disarm them. Pistol upgrade. And like it says at the side, it also, some of these will also unlock extra upgrades that we can buy later. For now though, let's go for the mask optics. So we can zoom in and stuff. Bullets, bolts, grenades, spring razor capability, bone charm capacity. Enables one additional bone charm to be active. Total four. I don't recall bone charms being a thing. Curious? You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. And let's take a bit of a look around well, first. You know best. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything more. And yeah, Piero here will see a lot of. Also, star chart Northern Skies. 75 coin. Yeah, yeah, technically we are sort of stealing from our own people, but we are... Well, he, Piero is reselling it. So... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you can also blame him as well. Oh, but... I have one of those at home here. 
Well, a tiny one that's made of plastic. Uh, yeah. My father has one of these. Oh, hello there. Good thing I walked back to that. Uh, my father has one of these in the garage. And it's reasonably well used. It's it's a bit small, but it is completely metal. Yeah, my dad has two. Then. You usually have to anchor them to a table. That's Mine's, so The man has have more for fishing rods and such. Uh, hooks. Okay. Sokolov of technology and the new age. Excerpt again. One of the advantages of Sokolov's technologies is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease, and the process is simply enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc pylon and wall of light security systems, as well as the powered car and carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the volatility of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks has exploded. Again, big hinting that you can use those whale tanks as uh, ex improvised explosives. Uh, I, I'm still disturbed they are killing whales. As, before they, they actually... You see, it's, it's, it disturbs me. They kill the whales, to the real meat, don't the rest of the damn body just to grab a barrel of oil to be used as street lights. Well, uh, they don't dump the f uh, flesh. That I might, uh, pretty much can recall as well. Yeah, it, I, from what I saw in the beginning of the screen, they had an the entire sperm whale on the ship, so at least they probably take care, a better care of the body here. Yeah. Excerpt from a series of uh, news articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin, Second Solution. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir of my own formula sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken its usual message of idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this train works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled in its effectiveness. I have studied in within the blood of those who is so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect, elegant in fact. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own has properties, not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see Sokolov's elector, elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variance in the key ingredients making a Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate mankind from the mindless blue jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Yeah, Piero has a bit of an ego. Yeah, though they say it's well earned. It should say something. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of crystallized powder, Tivian ore, what's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow of Feathers. If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. <laughs> Maybe at the Academy everything you needed was paid for by Tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not, will not approve your purchases unless they are absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the old crap, the odd crap you seem to need. At Rome Havelock. Which explains uh, why we need to pay for our upgrades. Okay, that's his work, sure. I'm so glad we no longer need to hunt whales for... Uh. Yeah, Japan still does it, though. Quote-unquote for medical reasons, but... But, yeah, wait, I think... 
For some reason, they have a taste for whale meat or something. Actually, for the, that's banned for, for year, years now. It is banned, but because they are sailing on the banner under the banner of doing it for research purposes, uh, which totally they are not. Yeah. Uh, they are not doing it for research. Because of that, they are still... Uh, they have a loophole to still go out and hunt. Uh, I'm, pro I'm probably fine with whale hunting if it's not for, well, in the endangered part. Yeah. Let's see, the, anything we can again, I think the biggest harm that did the uh, harm that the whale uh, population was the whole uh, You've met Piero. Sperm whale uh, hunting. Then, well, they just killed so many. Yeah. It's just. Uh, uh, okay, so that, <laughs> those areas are definitely in a lot of trouble. Let's Bloody heck. Yep. Lord yep. Pendleton's servant, Wallace, awaits you upstairs. He can show you to your chambers. Sleep well. Okay, I got a bit too close there again, it seems. You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. We can't bring her back, but at least we have the man she trusted most. And maybe we can help you right some of the wrongs done to you. This bar is mine, but please, treat it as your home. Okay. An admiral that owns a bar. Okay. Piero still wants a word with you. He's, well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. <laughs> That's about as apt a description I've seen. Yeah. <sighs> At least our first interaction with him was uh, not too bad. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Yeah, judging by uh, judging by the way the yeah the Lord Regent or I'll just call him the Spy Master, how he talked at the start, I very much doubt they'll be getting treatment in a place called the flooded district. Yeah, that had. That has as much. Uh, yep. Okay, we can hide in these. Yeah, something, some place called the Flooded District. Yeah, you just know from the name alone that that's a freaking ghetto. I just more reacted to the rehabilitation. All that just sounded so damn fishy. Yeah, when when people are talking about that. Uh, you can expect that something is amiss. Yeah, and the b biggest key giveaway is, well, yeah, missing the bodies. Yeah. Even the if there the would be... Be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Hexa River crossed, except uh, other than sounding disgusting. Hmm. Okay, let's hurry up a bit more. We will be here plenty of times more. I, I think do, things do change a bit, but we probably won't be fine getting just new stuff every little time that shows up. And hello there. My, you must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Uh, yeah. Uh, Attention Dunwall citizens. Lady Emily uh, yeah, not everyone in a resistance is going to be a fighter. Some people still, well, the toilets still need to be clean and such. Yeah, and... I just hope she ate them well. It looks like her head is is way bigger than the rest of the, her body. Because it is proportional. Yeah, the the character designs are a bit character character caricature like. Yeah. 
True. And, which, while well, a bit unrealistic, it does make characters easy to tell apart. Yep. Like Pendleton and, is the one that who has a, a face that looks like a, a flattened uh, cucumber. <laughs> It makes them easier to express emotions. Yeah. Uh, again, something... Uh, some re Another reason why I like uh, stylized designs more over hyper-realistic ones. Yeah, same here. Litany on the White Cliff. Excerpt from a series of overseer invocations by High Overseer Abram Templeton. And I say to you, brothers, it is here that we make our stand as a righteous force against the growing darkness. It is here that we unite against the spirits of the unknown that would drag us screaming into the night, never to return to our homes, to our families. Together we will serve as a rod for those who would stray from the herd, for the foggy gray wastes of the outsider. We will burn a bright fire with our virtuous actions so that others will not lose their way. And to those who choose to wander beyond the walls of our home in far places, we will strike at them swiftly before they whisper to their neighbors, filling their hearts with strangeness and doubt. To speak to the city. Yeah, what? we've got a bit of an inquisition going as well. Makes me wonder, were they approved before or after the Queen's death? I, I'm going to presume before, because it takes a bit of a while for a religion to set up. Let's see. Harpooner songs, excerpt from a book of sea shanties sung by sailors. Ah. <laughs> what will we do with a drunken whaler? What will we do with a drunken whaler? What will we do drunken whaler early in the morning? Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner early in the morning. <laughs> yeah, this is basically what do we do with a drunken sailor? I love that song. And I found a funny thought here that it's not a song you can so damn easy parody and, well, lo and behold. Yeah, though it slices throat with a rusty cleaver. Yeah, it it takes a big dive as well. Stuff him in a sack and throw him over. Yeah, this is not a nice world. Yes, hmm? very much so. But no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the empress. Of course he didn't. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. Okay. If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Okay, and who have we here then? Some doubt amid the ranks? Wallace. Please follow me to your quarters. Ah, yeah. The Admiral's aide. And... Oh, there's Lydia again. She looks very out of place in that dress <laughs> with everything else. Cecilia. Yeah. Yeah. served in the Navy under the Empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out, if I understand it right. I guess he, the Admiral realized there's something off with the Spy Master and Lord Regent. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the thing with Spy Masters. If you, if the Spy Master is not someone you can trust, then uh, yeah, you might as well uh, end it right there, because they are going to end it for you. Ah, Pendleton. So that was your... Your trade I just stole? Okay. Uh, let's see. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Speaking of which... Wallace! Please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean glass. <sighs> well, I'll begin again tomorrow. And yeah, Pendleton is a bit of a douchebag, but at least he's on our side. Yep, and I know something else about him that I rarely see anyone do in video games. That is? Having both hands up inside the coat, you know, like a bit proud. Only times I see that is in movies and cartoons, but never in video games. You have a point there, I think. And so, uh, pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days. 
but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. Okay, why well, he decides to pop out, pipe up just as we're leaving, I don't know. Yeah, I think I know why we, the, it's, it's rare to see in games since Attention it's probably easier to have the hands behind the back than in front in that pose. I'm going to take a guess that this is the Admiral's quarters. <laughs> Those are a lot of decorations. What gave that away? Oh, master room key. That might be useful later. How dare I mistake that for a spoon? A Gaffer's Tale of Volume 2. Excerpt from the travel journal of a whaler in his final years. A Gaffer's Tale for your tomb or a Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling, too broken to continue. I have seen all the corners of the isles and made more coin than most men see in a lifetime. But it's all gone. I lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young empress she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you can imagine. I've seen the cliffs of Pandesia. Uh, even the best of it uh, doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The, jo uh, the years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who knife each other for a pair of boots. Each year I had less time to come home, my tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities ta taught me odd. My sister Nina hardly knew what to say to me during our visit. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the, lost, the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because this industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Yeah. It, it sounds like you made good that you could quit. Yeah, yeah, there, there are... There are costs to... To jobs that take you far away from home for long times. Excerpt from the travel journal of a young whaler. Gaffer's early adventures. My sister Nina and I left Tivia you know, together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood. Leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold but beautiful wild la well, the white landscapes we had always known, we boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivin Furs. Once I'd helped Nila establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done, and saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar ships. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me for well, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the uh, gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina could barely recognize so, be, yeah, so Nina barely recognized me when I returned. Tanned and sinewy with muscle, weather creased uh, cr creases uh, already wrinkling the corners of my eyes, but she could see that I was filled with joy, having found my purpose. Yeah, quite the difference. Uh, quite the difference from the start, huh? Yep. Admiralty and the fleets. Excerpt from a book on naval history. This time I'll take a bit of a drink before. Because my lips are starting to stick together. While each of the Isles have some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Bristol, with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them. Boys come of age in the city of Bri the cities of Bristol, hoping to someday captain such a ship. And family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or cross seditious uprisings as during the Morley insurrection. 
In times of war, Crystal continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin their butchery and processing, even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly up the Renhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful uh, warehouse companies such as the Greaves Whaling House. Suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures making a mo makes a moving sight uh, as it cruises to find its final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. Okay, that's something I didn't know before, that apparently the country is called Crystal. It's a bit of a fitting name, being just a f one, letter, one letter away from Bristle. Because everything has a Bristle's appearance here. Yeah. Hello. And Bloody, why does the game make me think of the all re weird whale pacts I learned of recent two months? No. Like, public announcer people, if you see a wh big whale corpse on the beach, go, don't go near I'm it. sorry it's so dark, we can't risk being yeah. seen. Yeah. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? Depends on your definition of romantic, Lydia. Yeah, and here's a more thing. What happened to a, some researchers who did mistake of uploading an entire sperm whale that had died on the beach on, to, on top of a truck to drive it to a lab for research. Boom. They, yeah, the whale exploded on the street. No one got harmed, but the entire street the entire block was covered in whale blood and guts. Yeah, and the reason for that is, well, if a corpse ends up in the water, eventually it'll start to float to the uh, surface because, yeah, as the body decomposes, gases stay trapped inside the body, which, well, water, gas goes up. It's the same with whales, only since they are a bit thicker on the skin and such, uh, yeah, they basically become gas bombs. Yeah, and here's another fact to people. Even a human corpse or a cow's corpse is deadly when it explodes from gas. So, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> there have been, I, I think at one point in history, which was reasonably well uh, documented, and a lot of this first stream is being a lot of talking and reading, but this game is an immersive sim. So that's going to be a thing. Things are going to be slower than in our Darksiders. <laughs> but yeah, there was a case where a whale had a dead whale had washed up on shore somewhere. I think it was in America. Uh, don't ask me for details. But uh, they decided to well, they decided to blow it up to try and. Well, clean it up. And, uh, well, <laughs> they put in a bit too much. Oh, poor Lolo. Yeah, it was raining whale. Oh, God, there was something else I heard. And an American dude was so stupid. <laughs> Do tell them. Someone, someone, someone tried to be badass and camp up on a dead whale and exploded. And send him a like, I think it was like 20, 30 meters into the air. Yeah, uh, I hope he landed in the water then, because if he landed on the sand, uh, he'd probably have every bone in his body broken. That's the problem. I don't think, I forgot if he died or got serious injured. No. I, I don't remember if he is one of those Darwin Awards stories I got to, to hear about. Could be, because it definitely sounds like a freaking Looney Tunes episode. Yeah, so, yeah. Remember these people. Don't go near any bloated corpse of yeah. any animal or person. Just don't. Especially whales. Yeah, because even if the exp even if it's a small thing, uh, it could be leaking some very, very, uh, not, not, mm, finding the word toxic is probably the best word. 
uh, if it it will rupture at some point, uh, which will make it start leaking the air and the gases inside of it, which will be filled with all sorts of bacteria. So you do not want to breathe that in, even if it doesn't give you an infection. That stuff's going to reek like death squared. Yeah, yeah. Even if it doesn't harm you, it will either get make you literally sick. Or you'll start puke because of stench, or yeah, as Helian said here. <laughs> Let's see, the Vogue Feast, excerpt from a book on the celebrations and holidays. At the end of every year, after the last day of the month of songs, we begin the Vogue Feast. I'm probably saying that word wrong. wrong. No, then, I, then I get the word wrong, wrong. <laughs> uh, wait, which word? Vogue, this one here. Vogue. I'm probably saying it more like a, a fashion thing. Or Vue game, maybe? I've never seen that word, so I don't know. Let's see. The new year has not started, and thus the time that follows is outside the calendar. The period of celebration and feasting begins during when it's the people abandon the very practices that keep them whole and healthy over the year. Many leave their homes euphoric with spirits and pro or potent herbs. Some paint their faces and wear masks to conceal themselves as they pursue their passions without reservation. When the right cosmological signs are observed and it is time for the calendar to begin anew, the sitting high overseer calls for the hymn of atonement and the Vogue feast begins. I'll just call it the, the feast because I'm going to butcher that word every time. Families return to their homes, wives to their husbands, enemies put down their weapons and fires are extinguished. No complaint is given for those who have wronged others, deviated from ancient codes or discarded oaths. For this time during the astronomical, astrological alignment does not exist, and is not recorded. The following day starts the new year, marked by the first day of the month of Earth, as it has always been. That's that's basically a nationalized purge, or a national holiday purge. Hmm. And um, they waited. Oh yeah, God! Go I think I remember something here now. Does that this game have a bit? of Lovecraft inspiration as well? I think so. Let's oh see. dear. The Trials of Ep oh, we've already seen this one. It's about the overseers and basically being witchers in that they take the, the children and those that don't make it uh, die. <laughs> Let's see. Call to the Spheres, Volume 1. Excerpt from a work of fiction, early chapters. My stomach twisted as the engines of the odd vessel roared louder. It was the creation of Or uh, Orcado, third prefect of the Ac Academy of National Philosophy. He was exhilarated, savoring every each of the small craft's undulations. Orcado pulled a lever and a great gout of smoke surrounded us. The smell of burning whale oil grew unbearable as the machine propelled itself upwards. I was too afraid to look through the window, which suddenly didn't feel thick enough. As if knowing my thoughts, Overseer Bryn looked at me and smiled. Recite some of the lindy, my pupil. My pupil. I will, it will protect your heart from the turpidant, turpid, turpidit, turpitude of the void on our way to the outer spheres. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like yeah. some sort of space travel or something. Yeah. And I have to wonder if these overseer things are only within the religion. This is your so room. So hopefully it's... it's chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. Right. As I was saying, are you pray that the perch thing is only within their court and not the entire city? It sounds like it is city uh, wide. <laughs> so close elixir promotes robust health and fitness. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they had a lot of those back then. Yeah, they're, they're a lot of those, I'll call them quaint advertisements. Even though a lot of it was also just plain lying and snake oil salesmen. Yeah. Salesman, salesmanship. Oh yeah, let's finally take our rest. Somewhere else.
Hold it. Yeah, something's definitely not right, like the objective says. Oh, bloody hell. Is, is this the Dreamland? And yes, people, there's a place called the Dreamland in the HP Lovecraft domain. And no, it's not necessarily pleasant. Very unpleasant to my limited knowledge. Okay, left alt. Because I don't have access to that at the moment. <laughs> Uh, that looks like certainly something over there. With a big jaw. I can tell, but <laughs> okay, the, the fact that it just dropped down <laughs> made it a bit less intimidating. Or I do hear a bit of whale song, I think. Oh, no, that's my belly. Your life Ooh. has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Okay. Some of the body movements remind me of uh, the Sesta games, but at least they had their own system to make this on. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. And yeah, this is our first power. Blink. Right mouse button. Well, press right mouse button to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. So, yeah. This will be extremely useful. I wouldn't call it a power. Even I can blink. I'm blinking now. Ball and leather. You cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her, you cannot save her. Ball? <laughs> and yeah, I think that is a whale, but not the type of whale that we're familiar with. Emily's letter. Corvo, I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. So she is somewhere near the river. And... Let's not think too much about these two and all the plush uh, seating around. Are those twins? Yep. Oh. I didn't expect to be... Yeah, here's the situation again, but I'm keep me surprised when I'm right. And yeah, that is definitely some sort of whale-like creature. I don't like this place. And the spy master, being a brat from the looks of it, he's, <laughs> he's throwing his action figures around. He kind of looks like a skinnier version of uh, Picard. I was thinking more like Lex Luthor, but then again, some a lot of a lot of characters who are bald tend to somewhat resemble their selves because hair is a lot, quite a big of a, quite a big. Identifier with a lot of people. Yeah, for me, Picard is well. Picard, in some iteration, has some hair on the side. Let Let Luthor is extremely smooth-headed compared to Picard. Okay, and we have a partial map here. Missing. Oh no! Ah, someone with a mighty beard. 
I but think this is... might be... I think that might be Piero or something. Uh, I'm mostly saying it because of the hair, I think, but... Uh, my recognition is probably failing me. I get the feeling this is supposed to be Cor... No? No? Is that Sokolov? Yeah, what is that Sokolov? It kind of looks familiar. Okay, the Sokolov and Piero. Pizza. Hmm. And just a lot of other stuff as well. Hmm. But yeah, he's up to shit. And well, there's Dunwall. Uh, let's move on. We'll be seeing more of these things. And let me tell you, these things do not have a pleasant tip on it. What happened to the legs? What? They're stilts. Yeah. Why the heck have stilts like that? Yeah. Okay, I feel like I would have punched him in the middle of that. There's just something unnerving and stupid about it. And at the very least, they are very intimidating. But yeah, the voids. The re realm between realms. And I think I, I almost, if I was a few steps more forward, I probably would have fallen right off there. Yeah. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Right. Axel thought for a moment you fell down there. <laughs> the hearts. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes, even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press right mouse button while targeting a person or location. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. Oh god, so Lovecraftian! And yeah, there's a rune right there, and as it says, the screen lights up if we are part watching it, and this is literally a clockwork heart. Partially, at least. A steampunk peacemaker? <laughs> I guess. With a bit of, uh, yeah, Lovecraft mixed in, and a bit of Lionel Richie as well, then, because we are almost dancing on the ceiling. Yeah, oh god, so it's also a pun. I think I have heard that people say, listen to your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Where in this case, yeah, the hearts. Hello. <laughs> Piero Spiritual Remedy. And yeah, mana potions. All the time is meaningless here. Not seconds, not centuries. Mm. There we go. Mana is depleted. Some mana will regenerate over time. Fight spiritual remedies to fully replenish. Though, if you are low and you have mana potions and you try to use something. Well, it'll auto-use it. And yeah, that is a very rapid heartbeat to say you are right on top of it. I think your blood pressure is high.
Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Basically, these are our magic seal points. Looks more like a compass drawn on a stone piece. And yeah, we'll have quite the power, few selection of powers available, as you can see here. Dark vision, like every stealth game needs night vision in some form. Possession, bend time, devouring swarm, wind blast, shadow, and then there's some passive ones, like vitality, bloodthirsty, agility, and shadow kill. And each of these have multiple levels to them. Like here with shadow kill, Level 1. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash when they die. Oh. All enemies turn to ash as they die. Specific tips. Uh, okay, I need to move it over here. Shadow kill causes the bodies of slain enemies to turn to ash as if they were on if they were unaware of the time uh, of at the time of their death, not after the time of their death, because how would they be aware of the time of their death? <laughs> This is useful for stealth, since you can time your actions so that one killed enemy fades away before another turns and might see him. Further, you do not have to hide bodies if you have this enhancement, since they turn to ash and fade away. At level 2, this enhancement works even if slain enemies are aware of you. Yeah, that's very useful, I'd say. That give a, a lot of games, you just get a, dis a short description and little else, so you have to guess at what something does. For a good part of it. Here, yeah. they just tell you what it does. Agility, jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. Overall movement speed is increased. Build up adrenaline to, and then trigger brutal melee fatalities. Uh, faster, and that was a double attack for adrenaline kills which can be used against multiple enemies within range. These are basically pretty much lifted from Dark Messiah of Might and Magic and I have to say, in that game, they are a lot of fun to work with, even if they are somewhat limited in, in their variants. Uh, actually, I don't. I think for the most part, adrenaline kills in Dark Messiah are just lead to instant kills, but the animations you get for it differ depending on where you are aiming, which is a lot. Which is a, a technically. It's a small detail, but just for the amount, for doing different things with it, that is a lot of extra work. Let's see. Vitality, health, and regeneration. Dark vision. See in the dark and see living things through walls, including their fields of vision. The representation of the sound that you make are also visible. So a very useful one for stealth. Possession. Allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Allows control of human targets for a shorter duration. Let's see. Very powerful, allowing to merge physically with an animal, such as a fish or rat, for a limited duration. You must have an unobstructed path to your target. This power is useful for stealth, enabling you to hide in small places or move through spaces normally too small for you, like water-filled drainage pipes or ventilation ducts. Enemies will try to stomp you if you are possessing a rat. While possessing a hound, you can sprint fast, at level 2, you can possess humans as well. And, uh, very useful for stealth, though, if there are places for you to uh, get through and hide, of course. And, well, bullet time. And <laughs> devouring swarms. Yeah, the name says it all. It summons a swarm of rats to devour your enemies. And Wind Blast also speaks for itself. So let's just get the most... <laughs> And the most used power in any stealth game, night vision. Yeah, as I, as I suspect we'll be going for the powers that allow us to stealth without necessarily killing some, someone. Yeah. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world. But know that I will be watching with great interest.
No, the heck. Yeah, we'll be seeing a bit more of the outsider here and there. And Dishonored 2 even has an entire standalone campaign dedicated to him. But we'll come to that when we come to that. Yeah, and I feel bad for ignoring this game for so long. Yeah, uh, games can be like foods a lot. Uh, there, are, there are just so many options that you'll ignore and overlook certain options and yeah just uh, then later you find them again and then you try them then you come to realize you had made a bad choice much much earlier yeah but again i was being heavily misled by the earlier versions of the trailers as such not giving away any of the awesome stuff that actually would make me interested I just made me think oh just another Assassin's Creed like game without the uh, like, techno listen. stuff. Why? All right. He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. He says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Yeah, an old sailor <laughs> who just can't sleep. It, that's a fun, this is unrelated somewhat, but uh, you know in the Pirates of the Caribbean Today, movies how Jack Sparrow has that weird walk? Yeah. That's because he's used to walking on ship uh, decks who, well, they wobble to and fro the entire time. So if you spend yeah. enough time walking on that, you start to walk in a way that uh, doesn't throw you overboard every other meter. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. And yeah, we won't get to that just yet, but what he says is right. Sometimes good people have to do bad things for the right reason. But that doesn't mean that all uh, ends justify every, yeah, means. <laughs> I yeah. forgot the written saying there for a moment. I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting empty. Now well, let's can explain why she's a bit bitter. Or it se seems so. Hello there. Oh. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Technically, we aren't an assassin just yet. 
but still yeah as the same as bad people can work for good uh, leaders so can good people work for bad leaders yeah sometimes no being forced to do it or not knowing it yeah the outsider okay. walks among us yeah i suspect that what we see of the outsider so far is not his true form very much so i think like, i do not remember much about him but at the very least he seems reasonable but a lot of eldritch things can Hmm. Take the appearance of reasonability. Because, yeah. He is not forcing us to use his powers. What we do with it is our own choice. Yeah, you never... Yeah, they are the beings that you never really fully understand. You may think you understand them. Only to realize too late you haven't understand them at all. Yeah. And by the time, you are typically already within the jaws of the cat. Yeah, and as I said, I know that people say God works in mysterious ways. Yeah, wait till he meets uh, the Eldritch Gods. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. <laughs> Yeah, just a little reminder to check with him every now and then, though he's probably in his workshop up here, or he's locked in there. So let's have a quick little check up here, and then we'll start the mission. Ah, there he is. Uh, but we'll stop at the start of it. What can I do for you? I'm sure his voice is familiar for some reason. Definitely. Yeah, let's yeah. see. Any upgrades that we can afford? Range, Wait. accuracy... He, he, his voice is familiar, and his looks are familiar. Look, at the moment, I think my brain is tricking me to think Medic from Team Fortress? Yeah, that, that, I, I think that's more appearance-like. Because he also has yeah. a bit of an elongated face. And yeah, the glasses. <laughs> and short hair. <laughs> Wait, just like you! That uh, sounds a bit like uh, he and we have one more common friend than the rest of the resistance. And let's actually check. Oh no, I see what they're doing here. You, you, you know when people say it came to me in a dream? Yeah. I think they're taking that to a new level. Yep. Let's see, is this one new? Lord Pendleton Memoirs, yep. Chapter 27. In my thirteenth year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet. Although father had by then sunk into deep depression, it was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Okay. Y yes, Wallace. Um, <laughs> is there a reason you wanted to sniff us or whatever? Picky was staring at you and wondering, what are you doing? Oh gosh, that, that, I had that look happen today. When I was shopping, I accidentally took the wrong cart. <laughs> and an old woman looked at me, but I was buying candy, and looked at me and wondering, um, good day. sorry, I put a bump here. Then I realized, oh wait, sorry, that's your cart. <laughs> and that's <laughs> why, in part, I prefer a basket, because I typically also go for smaller things. It, it was a plastic cart, uh, one of those uh, basket with wheels that you can roll off to you. Okay. And, yeah. And I'm used to have mine near me and be alone with, uh, by the candy, but 
And of course, not to have wearing my glasses, I did realize I took the wrong one. But yeah, she gave me the, a, a confused look, and then I realized, oh, and I gave it back to her. That's a Listen. Seems to have arrived in good shape. Much better what than the? I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he shouldn't lack for motivation. The man has lost everything. We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. Okay. One thing after another. I just found something in my beard. <laughs> well, did you find uh, something you lost like three years ago there finally? Well, piece of chocolate bar. <laughs> Okay, not a whole sneak, but a slice of it. Well, not a sneak, but just a. Uh, no, was it a marble chocolate? Just give the word. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Uh. The way I say this, the record of thing, weird things getting stuck in my beard, as it really happens, is actually once a half cheese doodle. <laughs> okay. The Distillery District. High Overseer Campbell. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is cor completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally to the Lower List, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. Oh dear, I, I hope expect me to see Fishman. be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Yeah. We don't know how things were before the plague. But... Uh, six months underneath the spy master Probably did not help. And oh. well, we already knew they were doing it here before, but uh, but this time at least they're throwing them into a freaking boat. But on that, I think we'll call this stream. Uh, yeah, I think we'll be going slower with this because yeah, it's it's a big game and we'll have to be careful with our stealth. Uh, if we don't want things to go to hell even more. And there's already someone over there for us. And yeah, we will try for the low chaos ending, but I won't be reloading every time I get caught or anything. And on the, this lovely view... Uh, yeah, thoughts? I am very interested. I may actually watch some lore videos on the side, but not too many, though, since I still want some surprises. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I I'm looking forward to playing through this game and the sequel after we get through, well, Dark Side of the sequel. <laughs> I actually be looking forward to be along with you on this ride. And well, I'm not too I sure. Am, but... <laughs> Yeah, even more so than usual, huh? Yeah, a, a bit more different reason than I thought. This is a bit more mystery about it, I guess? Yeah. But most of the games that we've played have been mostly straightforward with all of their happenings. Yeah. But for now, though, uh, I don't know who said that, but. I'm not too sure if I'll do the side, the standalone campaign of this game because it is rather short and um, 
I'll put it as a definite maybe. Not too sure if we'll put it after, you know, directly after this game, or after we're done with the main story, uh, or not. Uh, I'll talk a bit about that with Drakir off uh, stream. We'll probably do it at the, the standalone campaign of the sequel. And yeah, that one will probably just play like it's a DLC directly after uh, we're done with Dishonored 2 when we finally get to that. Probably in the next year. <laughs> God. But as always, until next time, but until then, until then. You see, yeah. folks. And thanks for watching. <laughs> you especially, Dirk here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And with me having mixed up my outro, see y'all later. Stay safe!